Well, hello there. My name is Anthony Sequera, full-time instructor with CBG Nuggets, and I want to welcome you to our 70-742 course, Identity with Windows Server 2016. That 70-742 references the exam number that I'm going to get you completely prepared for. But keep in mind, if you're not interested in certification, this course is going to be your one-stop shop for everything involving identity with this exciting Windows Server product from Microsoft. In this really brief course introduction, I want to talk to you about how I framed the content that we're going to be moving through in this course together. And I also want to make sure that you're fully educated on how to get the most from our hands-on labs. When deciding what to cover with you in this course, I certainly had to take a look at the exam objectives from Microsoft, because again, one of our goals is to make sure you're completely ready for that test, should you choose to endure it. And notice there are five major domains, and you can also see why a lot of people call this simply the Active Directory course, because we are going to be working with Active Directory throughout. Now notice you can expand these and you see additional topics. Certainly, I'm going to be covering all of these topics with you in addition to topics that I just feel are critical that you would need to know in order to succeed with Active Directory in an enterprise production environment. Now, if you're like me and you are preparing for this exam, I'm sure you would love those exam objectives in a nice Excel spreadsheet so you can go in and track your progress. I'm going to make that available to you, and it's going to be in the supplemental files area. You can see it right here on my Windows 10 course, one of my Windows 10 courses here at CBT Nuggets, as an example. And so you can download these supplemental files, and your Excel spreadsheet will be in there. Please note, if you're watching these nuggets as I complete them, there will be no supplemental files because we don't post those until every single nugget of the course is done. Now, something that's super exciting about our Windows Server 2016 identity course here is that most of the nuggets will feature nugget-based hands-on labs. In our Windows 10 course here, for instance, I've gone to the offline files and work folders nugget. And sure enough, right over here, you can see there is a video virtual lab. And you're just going to click the start lab button whenever a nugget in your course here has a hands-on lab that goes with it. I'll be sure to say in the description of the nugget that it features a hands-on lab. And in every introduction, I'll mention whether or not you should go and launch a hands-on lab. As I said, most nuggets will have them. Some few nuggets will not. When the hands-on lab launches, you'll notice any virtual machines that we're going to be using are listed over on the right. And you can very easily switch between those virtual machines just by clicking on them in the lab interface. Notice you have a clipboard for username and password. This is so handy. So to log into this machine, I will make sure my cursor's in the password field, for example, and I will click this button right here in order to drop in the password and log into that system. Notice you also have a Control-Alt-Delete button for that virtual machine should you need it. You can slide those lab controls out of the way when you're ready to work with the hands-on lab, by the way. So I promised you I would keep this course introduction brief, and that is exactly what I'm going to do, because I'm sure, like me, you are super excited to dive into the wonders that is Microsoft's Active Directory. I hope this course introduction was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.